What's going on guys, Playboxer, and we're back for our Dragon Ball Legends video, and in this one we are going to be taking a look at Zenkai Vegito Blue's kit. Now, I don't usually break down, you know, Zenkai units kit, or even new units for that matter, uh, but I typically do them for Vegito units. I actually only done it once for Super Vegito Zenkai, so I might as well do it for Vegito Blue's Zenkai. Um, and eventually Ultra Super Vegito's kit, so I guess I'll continue this team of just reviewing Vegito units. But we're going to be taking a look at Vegito Blue's kit, um, a unit that has many people scared of his Zenkai, um, just because of how oppressive and game-breaking and meta-changing he was when he released. The Vegito Blue meta is like a top 3 worst vet metas in the game, right? So his Zenkai is definitely something to be, uh, I guess intrigued by scared of whatever it is um, and it's definitely the reason why they've held it on held off on it for so long right i mean he's literally the oldest unit without a zenkai um he's also the oldest unit without a platinum equipment they literally just held back on everything for this guy and you could argue that still this day he still performs pretty decent at high especially at higher stars so you know uh shout out to um, DB at, at DB Legends Japan, or as many people would know him as Miguel. I think he changed his name to Pachetta. <laughs> I, I don't know why, but shout out to him. Oh, he thanks to Crazy Doom. So he's the one that actually credits, uh, actually came, uh, got these data mines. So, uh, it took a while for Renzi to get these data mines, but, uh, um, he's got it. So let's just take a look at this without further delay. So Vegito Blue, let's start off here. So main ability. Um, I'm pretty sure many people is you know what let me have let me pull up a uh, Vegito Blue's actual um, Kit right here so we can kind of compare it. So let's go back here Main ability destroys. Okay, so we already know what his main ability does right randomly destroys one card draws the ultimate heals 20 to 50 uh, 20 percent key 50 40 percent damage and reduce damage. Okay, cool Now let's see what he does uh, So draws the ultimate resort own held by 20 percent 50 key 40 percent damage is it cannot be in Okay, so that becomes cannot be cancelled. Reduced damage received by 20% cannot be cancelled. They, they only just made that cannot be cancelled. I guess that's fine. <laughs> uh, so that that's it. Let's keep going. 50% damage can, uh, cannot be stacked. Reduced damage by 30%. Null for attribute. Uh, upgrades in abnormal condition. Downgrades. And draw special arts card, which is the green card twice. And he has a cover change on blast. Um, so let's see. This becomes cannot be cancelled. Okay, reduced damage by 30%. Did he have that before? Okay, he did. 15%. Okay, nullifies. Okay. Activates wait, activates one. Did he always have active? Okay, I thought it was twice before. Uh, so really nothing changed in his first unique. Did they change the timer counts on anything? Uh, doesn't seem like they changed the timer counts on anything either. So, uh, pretty interesting so far. They just made this cannot be cancelled, which is of course good. Many units nowadays just cancel upgrades, so it's good that it's not cancelled. Uncancelable, so let's keep going here. Passive two. Wait, he has the other passive, right? Okay, passive three. Okay, that was a spoiler. Uh, okay, so passive to 30% damage inflicted to let's just look at this 30% uh, fusion words and then he has these specific buffs depending on the battle style 40% against melee 40% blast against range Increased card speed against support and 30% uh, minus 30% sustained damage for defense type. So let's go here 40% uh, damage. Okay, so that goes from 30. Oh, no wait. It's still 40 down. Okay, so they really are not touching these first two uniques. I guess it's fine um so 40 40 support okay that's the same this is activates twice restores own key by five inflicts enemy attribute upgrade downgrade minus 100 minus 100 key recovery did he have key okay he didn't have the key recovery before that's actually pretty big um mine is 100 percent the key recovery for three counts that just means that they won't be able to regain key when they're getting hit that's pretty crazy that's actually better maybe than the redu the reduction of key when you're doing it um, you'll have, we'll have to see. I mean, this guy can literally combo forever, so this could be very effective. You'll literally have minus 100% key recovery for like very long time. So let's get into the third passive here. Uh, applies the falling effect system when two allies are defeated. Wow. <laughs> okay, so he just gets death buffs. So, I mean, he gets last man standing buffs. Restore, restores health by 15% and then 10% to damage received. Wow, okay, that's not really... Dude, what is this? Applies the falling effects set when this character evades an enemy attack with vanish. Minus 2 to strike arts cost, and then 20% to strike damage inflicted for 5 time recounts. There's no way that's it, right? <laughs> 
Applies the following effects to self when two allies have defeated, restores health by 15 and reduce damage by, see, by 10%. Wow, okay. And then applies the following effects to self when this character evades an enemy. What is, what are these uniques? Wow, they actually, so I guess, is, is that really it? There's no, wow. Deals massive impact, no switching, inflicts enemy with attribute downgrade. For 15 counts, it can, cannot be nullified. Yeah. Okay, let's see what a Zenkai ability is. Green card. Um, it should have. Okay, plus flying, so minus 25% damage received. Did he have that before? Pretty sure he did. Yeah. Ten, okay. Twice. That's twice. They should have uh, blast armor on this. They said in the Twitter preview. Um. Okay. Deals supreme damage. Yada, yada, yada. Same shit. And then here, blue god key. So, okay, that's blue. That's interesting. I'm surprised they gave it to blue god key, not blue fusion words, or even blue Saiyans. I guess blue Saiyans have enough Z, uh, Z, Zenkai buffs, but blue god key, that means Ultra Gogeta is not going to be getting the Zenkai buff here. Uh, wait, who's blue god key? There's Beerus. Uh, let me just quickly take a look here. Let's go with this guy also. Uh, god key, blue unit, so Vegito blue. Beerus, this Vegeta, Klapku, and then the Goku here. And then the new Vegeta, of course, can get it as well. And that's pretty much it. Um, wow, that's really it. They completely just didn't do anything to this guy. That is very disappointing. Very, very disappointing indeed. Wow, what are the people saying? Does the screen? Yeah, they already confirmed that. Okay, they are really fucked them up. Yeah, they definitely did. Like, what the hell? Same energy. What is this? Um, restores key by 30 gradually. Restores this. Okay. Dude, what is this? They just completely did jack shit to him. Oh my god. I was worried this was gonna happen. Everyone that was afraid of Vegito Blue, you know, doing stuff. I mean,. Honestly, realistically speaking, the biggest thing this guy needed was some more damage inflicted. And even though they didn't, they actually literally didn't give him any additional damage inflicted other than, um, other than where is it? Here, the 20% strike damage when you vanish. So obviously you would want to PV with this guy. They're really promoting this P, this playstyle where you want to get perfect vanishes. I see a lot of units like MUI Goku, Kaken Goku, now this guy where... You get buffs for vanishing, so I don't know why they're doing that. It's just, it's stupid. But wow, they didn't do any, even the Vegeta. I'm pretty sure got a bigger buff than this guy. They didn't do anything to him. <sighs> wow. But like, like I, like I was saying, the biggest thing he needed was damage and more damage, and the increased stats is really gonna help him out. The, the, the stats are pretty much what's gonna carry this guy. They're, they're it's basically what's gonna make or break this dude. And, dude, and I don't even know what to say. The stats, it's just literally like in the same scenario as Super Vegeta and the Vizenkai Vegeta. The stats are going to make or break this guy. So, they, they, they don't have the data mines for the stats yet. I, I think we have to wait a bit longer for for us to get the actual data downloads for the game. Um, like, close to, maintain, close to the end of maintenance. So, we're going to have to wait for that. But, so far, man, it is not looking too promising for this Vegito Blue. Which is uh, pretty uh, disappointing, I guess, especially for people that have been waiting so long for this guy to Zenkai. Literally, this today, like around this time, marks the two year anniversary of this guy releasing. So, I don't know, we'll just have to wait and see uh, to test him out when he actually does drop in game. So, we'll have to keep our judgment until then. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe because that shit is so important. So, don't forget. Other than that, have a great day. See ya.